Kasagutan natin ngayon itong problem 1.1 from Chemical Reaction Engineering, 3rd edition by Octave Libenspiel. So, ang title ng problem 1.1 is Municipal Wastewater Treatment Plant. Consider a municipal water treatment plant for a small community as shown in figure P1.1. So, ito yung ating figure para sa problem na to. Wastewater, 32,000 cubic meter per day, flows through the treatment plant with a mean residence time of 8 hours. Air is bubbled through the tanks and microbes in the tank attack and break down the organic material according to this reaction. A typical entering feed has a BOD, biological oxygen demand, of 200 mg of O2 per liter, while the effluent has a negligible BOD. Find the rate of reaction or decrease in BOD of the treatment tanks. Okay? So, dito tayo magre-refer dito sa ating figure na nandito. So, ang pinahanap sa atin is yung rate of reaction or decrease in BOD or the biological oxygen demand in the treatment tanks. Okay? Bago tayo mag-proceed, tignan muna natin yung ating definition ng reaction rate. Kasi ang pinahanap sa atin dito is yung rate of reaction or decrease in BOD in the treatment tanks. So, ano ba itong tinatawag nating reaction rate as per dito sa same book na sinasagutan natin ngayon? So, ito yung ating gagamitin na formula for the reaction rate based on unit volume of reacting fluid. No? So, as you can see, our rate of reaction is expressed in the number of moles form over the volume of fluid per unit time. Okay, so yan ang gagamitin natin para masagutan yung ating problem. So, ano ba yung required natin? Unahin na natin i-define muna kung ano ba ang ating requirement to solve this problem. So, as you can see dito sa ating problem, we are required to find the rate of reaction or decrease in BOD in the treatment tanks. Okay? So, basically, yung pinahanap sa atin dito, is yung number of moles ng oxygen na nagamit per, per unit time and volume. Diba? So, dito tayo magre-refer ulit dito sa ating uh, diagram dito. Okay? So, ang kailangan natin makuha is yung rate of reaction ng ating oxygen used per unit time and volume. So, basically, as per this definition, we need to find the number of moles ng O2 na nagamit for our BOD requirement per unit time. So, let's say because lahat ng given natin dito is expressed mostly on days, no? And we have per hour here. But let's say uh, we will express our answer per unit day. And volume ng ating fluid and ang hinahanap sa atin is itong nasa treatment tanks natin. Okay? So, we will express this in cubic meter because all of our given here is in cubic meter. Okay? Except for this which is expressed in liter. So, let me express this in cubic meter. So, cubic meter okay, on the tank. Okay? So, yan ang kailangan nating makuha. No? So, paano natin yan sasagutan? So, given sa atin itong mean residence time, diba? which is 8 hours. So, habang pumapasok itong wastewater natin dito sa ating tank, it is having a mean residence time of 8 hours. Okay? So, ito namang pumapasok sa atin na 32,000 cubic meter per day is requiring 200 milligrams of O2 per liter. Okay, so dyan pumapasok yung ating BOD and it has a requirement of 200 mg of O2 uh, per liter. No? So, kailangan nating makuha first is itong volume ng ating tank. Okay, so yan ang una nating alamin. Bago tayo magpatuloy sa ating discussion, we would like to ask for your support by subscribing sa ating YouTube channel. Please click on the notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa mga videos na ipopost namin. So, let us take note that the volumetric flow rate ng ating wastewater na pumapasok sa ating tank 
is 32,000 cubic meter per day. Ba? So, yun ang ating volumetric flow rate. Tapos, meron tayong mean residence time na 8 hours. So, ibig sabihin, pumapasok itong volume na to sa ating tank every day. Pero meron tayong residence time na 8 hours. So, therefore, kailangan nating malaman kung ano yung volume ng ating wastewater sa loob ng tank which is being hold for 8 hours, di ba? So, how are we going to find yung volume ng ating uh, tank on this case? Our mean residence time is equal to the volume of the tank over the volumetric flow rate. Okay? So, let us first check yung consistency ng ating mga dimensions. Uh, volume of the tank in cubic meter. And ang unit ng ating volumetric flow rate ng ating wastewater na pumapasok is in cubic meter per day. Okay? So, ito yung ating wastewater. So, as you can see, um, our unit for volume, which is cubic meter, will be cancelled out. And ang ating unit will be in... Uh, unit time, which is day. Pero, given sa atin ang ating residence time at ang ating volumetric flow rate, ang kailangan natin makuha it is itong volume ng ating tank. So, therefore, the volume of our tank is equal to the residence time times the volumetric flow rate. Diba? So, the volume of our tank is equal to our residence time, which is equal to 8 hours times our volumetric flow rate, which is 32,000 cubic meter per day. Okay? So, we know that we have 24 hours in one day. So, our units for hours will be cancelled out and our unit for day will be cancelled out. So, we will have here our volume of the tank which is equal to so we have 8 times 32,000 divided by 24 the answer will be 10,667 cubic meters so now we have the volume of the tank so now kailangan naman natin makuha is itong uh, inahanap natin that number of moles ng O2 used per day okay so kunin natin ngayon yan so we need to know the number of moles of O2 use per unit time. Okay? So, our BOD requirement para sa ating wastewater na pumapasok is equal to, uh, here, 200 milligram ng O2 per liter. Okay? So, we have 200 milligram of O2 per liter. Okay? And then, we will multiply this doon sa volume ng wastewater natin na pumapasok. Because this BOD requirement is based from that wastewater. Now, so, we have here 32,000 cubic meter per day. Okay, so now, we will do some conversion no, para maging consistent ang ating mga units. So, we will convert our uh, unit in milligram to grams. So, in 1 gram, we have 1,000 milligram. And then, we will convert this mass into the number of moles. Okay, so our molecular weight of O2 is 32 grams per 1 mole ng O2. Okay? And then, ang ating volume para maging consistent ang dimension, we will convert our cubic meter to liter. So, we have uh, in 1 cubic meter, we have 1,000 liters. Okay? So, let us check our units. Our unit for milligram will be cancelled out. 
our unit for gram will be cancelled out. A, our unit for liters will be cancelled out. Cubic meter will be cancelled out. So, ang may iwan sa atin is yung moles ng O2 per day. Okay? So, let us now proceed with our calculation. So, 200 times 32,000 divided by 1,000 divided by 32 times 1,000 is equal to 200,000 moles of O2 per day. Okay? So, meron na tayo ngayong uh, answer for the number of moles ng O2 used per unit time. So, dahil ang hinahanap natin is this one, the rate of the reaction ng nagamit na O2 per day per volume of our tank. So, we will divide this answer to the volume of our tank. So, the rate of reaction is equal to 200,000 moles of O2 per day divided by 10,667 cubic meter. Okay? So, 200,000 divided by uh, 10,667 is equal to 18.75 moles of O2 that is used per cubic meter per day. So, ito yung ating final answer for this problem. Well, that's it for now guys and thank you for watching. We are inviting you to register sa www.engineers.org. It is a community of Filipino engineers, engineering students, and STEM students. Thank you very much and have a nice day!